Hello everyone and good morning. How are you guys feeling today? And first of all, thank you so much for coming once again. Uh, here we are in another, another live stream, another relaxed live stream about programming, about PHP. And once again, you guys came, which is pretty cool. I can see Roberto already here. Imanshu, also from India. Thank you so much for coming. Sas Sasha, Francisco, MI, Christopher Rumpel, Mateus Antonio Jr. as well, and Daniel from Brazil as well, which is pretty cool. I can see that I have quite an audience from Brazil um, because mainly I'm Portuguese, as you guys probably know. And for those who don't know, I'm a Portuguese web developer. My name is Nuno. I am Laravel Core team member and the biggest PHP fan in the world. That's right, you know. By the way, before I forget, I've tried to tweak the music once again. You know, I think I think the first live stream the music was too low. The second one the music was just too loud. So let me know what you think about the music today. If it's good, if it should be louder or if it's just perfect like this. Um, Franz Filippo is saying, Nuno, we love you here from Brazil. Dude, my life goal objective for the next year is visit Brazil. I have to go there, you know what I mean? I love Brazil. I have never been there, but just the food, dude, I see on the pictures on, YouTube, on Google and even on YouTube, they drive me crazy. I have to go there. So... I think there is a conference called PHP Conference Brazil, and I'm going to try to apply. Or um, even in other conferences, I will do my best to go next year. I promise you all, okay? And it's time to another live stream. If you missed the previous live streams, go to my YouTube channel. I have done a live stream about Laravel Pale, which is a project that I'm about to launch. And, by the way, I just received a confirmation from Taylor Otwell this morning that he's happy with the current state of the project. So, the beta release should be really around the corner, okay? We probably are going to release that package uh, early next week. Meanwhile, you are free to try it out. Uh, you can already go to the, um, to the GitHub repo of Laravel Pale and just start tweaking with the project if you want to. Now, more news we have is regarding Laravel Breeze. As you know, we just have shipped it, I think, two weeks ago, the live wire edition of Laravel Breeze, which we are going to cover today on this live stream. However, there is a small a small addition to that LiveWire stack, which we are going to ship it next week, which is the functional API of LiveWire. We are going to talk about all this stuff today, so if you are a little bit lost about what LiveWire is, what is LiveWire on Breeze, or what e even is Breeze about, we are going to cover all that stuff today. Meanwhile, you probably have seen that during these live streams, I always have the chat open on the bottom right corner. So if you just want to interact with me or just make questions or anything really, just type here on the chat and I will constantly monitor that and answer your questions probably even in real time, okay? So that being said, I just grabbed a fresh new coffee it's just after lunch here, but I always have a nice coffee after lunch. I love coffee. I have probably like three coffees a day. And they just help me to keep me focused on my work. And today we have so much to cover about uh, Breeze, about LiveWire, about Volt. And uh, I need to be energized for all these topics today. <sighs> Anyway, that being said, you guys excited to see a little bit of Breeze? I hope you guys are because we are getting started right away. I want to do a pool. I want to do a pool here on the chat about to see what is your favorite 
uh, starter kit on Laravel. So as you know, Laravel have multiple starter kits. We can start to talking about that precisely. So on Laravel, we have multiple options to get started. Okay, uh, technology is not the same. Uh, in 2023, as before, we have multiple options, we have multiple use cases, multiple needs, and with Laravel, we open the doors to pretty much everything. You might want to start with Laravel and just regular Blade, which is the traditional way of building web applications. It's still probably one of my favorite ways, to be honest. It's simple, it's easy, and I love it. It's just plain PHP, and I kind of love to get started with just Laravel and Blade. However, we have some starter kits that gives you access to kind of new technology for people who want some reactivity on the browser or need a little bit more features. And some of those options are Laravel Breeze and Laravel Jetstream. And for those who already know what is um, Laravel Breeze and Jetstream, I'm going to just type here... What is your favorite <clears throat> uh, start the kit in Laravel? Uh, the first option will be vanilla Laravel, which is like Blade, etc. The second option will be Laravel Breeze. And the third option will be Laravel Jetstream. I'm curious to see uh, what you guys prefer uh, to choose when you are building a new Laravel application. And I'm going to give you already my choice, okay? Typically, I start with Jetstream. Uh, Jetstream is uh, one of my favorite options because it just brings so much functionality, and we can talk a little bit about that. Um, if I go to Jetstream, which is right here, you can see that, first of all, Jetstream have so many new stuff that even have its own documentation. So if we go to the Laravel website and we click on Starter Kits, we can see all the options including Jetstream. And if I click on the Jetstream documentation, uh, we can see that Jet Jetstream pretty much has its own documentation here. Um, just to mention all the features that Jetstream offers. Let me just put here um, the chat on the right. There we go. So Jetstream is really like this ready-to-go starter kit with so many features, including authentication, obviously, but also email verification, two-factor authentication, session management, and also API tokens with Laravel Sanctum. In addition, it has Teams, which is a big thing. So... Um, as a user of your uh, Laravel application, you can have your own team, you can invite people to your own team, and it really brings a lot of stuff and features to get started um, for your fresh Laravel application, okay? Obviously, you have profile man uh, management and browser sessions even, you know, so many uh, stuff this uh, Jetstream offers. So typically, I start with Jetstream, However, if I have something really specific, I kind of default to Laravel Breeze because it's more minimal. And you will see that Laravel Breeze is kind of a very simple starter kit in the sense that it only offers like very basic authentication and uh, has a profile page that you can obviously change your password and edit your name. Uh, and we can talk a little bit about that. So again, just to recap, Laravel you can pretty much start with vanilla in Laravel Blade or choose a starter kit. That starter kit can be Laravel Breeze or Laravel Jetstream. And I can see already on the chat, let's just take a peek here, how the pool is doing. I'm going to end the pool, okay? And we are going to see the results. And I can see that most of people start with Laravel Breeze. Uh, then we also have Laravel Jetstream on the second position. In the very small percentage of the people actually use uh, vanilla Laravel. Okay, that's surprising, by the way, but um, also interesting to see that most of the people choose Laravel Breeze, which is kind of the topic of today. Now, again, because technology have involved so much, um, Laravel Breeze offers you kind of sub options within when you are starting and creating and installing Laravel Breeze on your Laravel application. And those are Breeze with Blade, Ble Breeze with Livewire, and Breeze with React or Vue, or even a, solo, a single API if you want to, okay? 
So let's talk a little bit about Laravel Breeze Blade and Laravel Breeze Livewire. So typically these two options are for people who have small teams and they don't want to handle any kind of JavaScript. And that's a big thing, by the way. If you have a people, if you have a group of people like four developers who are very good PHP developers, and you wish to have some kind of reactivity on the front, you can simply go with Livewire, and you don't have to deal with, with any kind of JavaScript. Even though the front end really feels like uh, fully reactive, it truly really feels like JavaScript, you know, on the front end. But behind the scenes with Livewire, you don't have to know any kind of JavaScript to use it, which is pretty cool and a big point for choosing Livewire, for example. So both Breeze with Blade or Breeze with Livewire are great options if you don't want to deal with any kind of JavaScript, but also wish to build your next Laravel application, okay? Then we have Breeze with React and Vue, which is for people who are probably familiar already with those JavaScript frameworks. So you can leverage the full power of Laravel in your backend, you know, and then on the front end, use powerful frameworks such as React and Vue to kind of build your application is front end, okay? And obviously, if you are building a simple API, you also have the Breeze API only option. But today, we are going to cover only the Breeze with Livewire option. So I'm going to kind of show you a little bit of the code I have built for this new stack. And yes, this is a new stack because it was built like two weeks ago. So um, it's kind of a new thing to this uh, Laravel Breeze option. 